Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. We are excited to have Cecilia Romero here joining us. She is a functional nutrition counselor and health wellness coach and so much more. The name of her company, Very Wellness Coach, and that's her website, verywellnesscoach.com. Welcome to the show today. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for having me. Well, pleasure to have you here. Exciting to get to know you on more of a personal level as well. Uh, I think that's always important. And um, first of all, tell us a little bit about what you do, and then we'll get to how you were inspired and what brought you here. Okay. So uh, what I do is basically I guide my clients through a number of uh, areas of their lives to uh, work on their health. So I am a health coach, meaning I am um, I'm helping them to uh, find out what works for them. I'm helping them connecting with their desire to heal because you know those changes. Are, we kind of all know that we have to make those changes, but it's really not always easy to make. So mm-hmm. that's why I'm here for. Um, and it's a guiding approach. It's not so much of a directing approach. Okay. Meaning if I were to train you, Jill, for the Olympics, for instance, I would tell you, Jill, you got to do 150 of these and I get up at four o'clock in the morning and you got to do this and do that. But this is a very different type of coaching. I really meet the person where they are. I understand their perspective Mm -hmm. and I I'm just here for them. Great. And especially you're helping those with gut related uh, issues and you help people improve their digestion, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And the tricky thing is that a lot of people don't know that they have digestive issues. Mm -hmm. I do. I got severe IBS my whole life and no one can ever figure it out. But I know. And that's the whole gut health balance is so important, but also empowering our brain, which I know you can help boost brain power, uh, give more productivity, um, of course, and increase more clarity and longevity. Uh, But the gut really is the window to the soul. (laughs) But before we talk more about your services, let's find out more about you. Tell me what inspired you uh, to to be here today. And uh, yeah, explain exactly. I read all your notes before and I apologize. My mother passed uh, six years ago as well, so I can understand and empathize with you. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's absolutely brutal. Um, my mom passed away a year and four months ago, mm. and she she looked so healthy. You know, she was so young; nobody could tell her age. Um, she was very vital and uh, vibrant, and suddenly she received a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. So that was such a shock, you know, and my mom didn't pass it. She didn't die from the disease. She had a heart attack. Mm. And I firmly believe that she died because she thought that nothing could be done because how could she, right? It's, uh, uh, the, the, it's the main perception. People tend to think that if you have Alzheimer's disease, you can't do anything. Mm-hmm. So it turns out that there's a lot of research and the results are here. Oh. It is possible to... Uh, to make a big difference, you know, with the diet, with how you eat, with checking out your vitamins, your nutrient levels, your levels of toxicity. There, there's so much to do uh, to to reverse or prevent dementia. And you mentioned, yeah, it doesn't happen overnight, right? So uh, in order to develop Alzheimer's, it happens over time, you mentioned 10, 15, 20 years. So is that what made you start thinking about what we're doing, what we're putting in our bodies and the importance of gut health to so many of us? Absolutely. I mean, gut health, this is where it all starts. Yeah. Um, And um, yes, this is why I'm here. I really uh, want to help as many people as possible to understand how much power they have with their own choices, with their daily choices. And it's not only about food, it's about uh, sleep hygiene, how to adapt to stress. I like to call it stress adaptation Mm -hmm. and stress management because this sounds stressful to me. Yeah, We adapt because that's what we do as a human race. We've been adapting as we go all along um and it's also about you know knowing how to uh, uh, mindfully relax you know when i talk about relaxation i'm not saying let's just grab a beer and uh binge watch on uh, netflix it's a mindful type of relaxation whatever that may be 
Yeah. Well, also, um, uh, thank you for sharing this. Now you're here helping so many people, coaching your clients. I know it's your new mission. Let's find out a little bit about you. Where are you from originally? Tell me what brought you here to Very Wellness. What were you, what did you used to do? Would you mind sharing that? No, I don't mind at all. I used to do uh, two radically different things. So first of all, I was born and raised in Paris. And I moved to Spain uh, when I was 21 to become a flamenco dancer. So I was a professional flamenco dancer for 15 years and I was uh, living the dream as they say, right? It was it's an amazing, amazing experience. And I'm very grateful for those years. And then um, I'm curious, you know, I am curious to experience different things. I love to learn new things. So I decided to move to the States and I chose hairdressing because I thought it was another way to express my creativity. Mm -hmm. So I ended up working with a ton of celebrities. I've done hair to a lot of A-list celebrities and uh, for commercial work and all that. Got it. Wow. Exciting. My goodness. So here you are, you're clearly passionate about helping people and uh, really very artistic type of profession. The dancing is amazing, but still goes hand in hand because you got to be healthy to be that dancer. And um, let's talk now more about the work and the services that you can offer to our listeners. And by the way, again, it's verywellnesscoach.com. That's your best form of contact. Yes, absolutely. It's also the handle of on my uh, Instagram account, so you can follow me on Very Wellness Coach. Great. So and, um, if you visit my website, you can also go straight there and schedule a 30 minute um, free consultation with me because I always like to meet the person first. Yeah. Uh, we, we have to figure out if we're a good fit before we start working together. I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense. Got it. And because I know. Our, sorry. No, no, your main message is to get out there is that the importance of really becoming uh, an active participant in your own health, uh, because hey, it's our responsibility. 86% of all healthcare accounts for chronic diseases, uh, amazing statistics, but you mentioned largely reversible with the right foods. Exactly. So we were talking about Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's disease is a chronic disease. And the fact that it develops over time is it's the same for every, any chronic disease, right? So uh, what took a lifetime to happen is not going to be reversed overnight, Yeah. but there's so much that we can do. And the results are showing up, you know, in most of the case for most people really much quicker than, than we think. Um, and the service, I, I, I like to ask for a three month commitment because, you know, it takes time to make those changes. And then we have to make sure that the maintenance is okay, that I want to make sure that my clients are okay um, and that they keep doing what they're uh, committed to do. So I offer a three month program um, and uh, we go through all that I mentioned earlier and okay. much more, you know, levels of toxicities, ways to avoid um, toxin, toxic explosions in your life because it's really important too. And things like that. Your mindset is really important. Your thoughts, your connections, your relationships, how you interact with the world and with yourself and with the foods. Um, so many people don't realize that they have this power. And you also, I don't know if you want to get into, you talk here in your notes about uh, drugs, about antibiotics, about stuff like that affecting our bodies and health as well. Um, you said drugs and addicts? Yeah, no, you mentioned antibiotics um, and drugs yeah. in particular, right? Because that's how a lot of us get treated by doctors. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so I know I know a lot of people, my, uh, someone in my family too, She, I know that the minute she gets the sniffles, she asks for antibiotics. Um, so I, I know it's not only doctors who mm -hmm. uh, are willing to prescribe no matter what, um, the people are also demanding antibiotics. Like in the case of uh, moms, moms do that a lot. Moms worry for their kids. So pediatricians tend to over prescribe. So it's the issue is yeah. when it's overly prescribed, when there's no need to take the antibiotics. So this has in, um, in itself a, a really bad effect on our gut flora. So this is why we at least need to prepare before we take a round of antibiotic and, um, and, 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 and heal our guts afterwards. Beautiful. 
great. And also you say um, about our destiny, you say our genes are not our destiny. We do have control over their expression. Can you share a little bit about that? Absolutely. So I don't know. I feel that the younger people are in the know, but people of my generation, we tend to think that's what we were taught. I mean, that's yeah. why I was taught that if mm -hmm. you're born with a certain set of genes, this is it. We're doomed. Yeah. This is what we got and there's nothing we can do. So in fact, genes can be dimmed down or up depending on our choices. And again, it's the food, it's our thoughts, it's the way we sleep, the way we relax, yeah. how we exercise. And you know, Jill, it feels like we, we need to learn everything. Yeah. We need to learn how to breathe. We need to learn how to sleep. Uh, for instance, you, you have two little kids, right? Yeah, six and eight. <laughs> right. well, oh, gosh. What do you do to put them to sleep? Well, we all sleep together, which people say is horrible and, and shouldn't be, but we do. We sleep in one bed. We lay down, we read a book and try to go to sleep without them begging for the television, which we don't put on only if it's a weekend. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's our routine. It's bath time, then to the bed, book, and then go to sleep or watch a movie, depending on what day it is. Yeah. But, exactly. So you could maybe you dim the lights. I mean, there's oh, yeah. a routine, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And you tell them a story and you do all those things. So it turns out that we have to treat ourselves the same way. Ah, interesting. We're still the same as adults. So we can't just like rush and be in that loop of go, 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 do, 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 and then just suddenly fall asleep. Mm -hmm. We need to have this sort of routine. Routine. I have a I don't really like this word, but it's just the best way I can describe it. We have to dim down the lights and prepare ourselves to go to sleep, among many other things, to get the best uh, quality of sleep. Got it. Sleep is important. And what about inflammation? I was reading your notes as well. Did you want to discuss about inflammation in general? Yeah, there's just one thing I would like to add about sleep. Sure. I once had a, a, a naturopath who was helping me because I myself went through a transformation big time, you know, from, uh, I also had uh, issues with my digestion mm -hmm. and my gut health. So I was uh, followed by a naturopath and he was giving me all those supplements and those vitamins. And he said, and I said, so, and what's this one? What's that? And he said, well, this is for you to sleep better. And I said, oh, I never said I don't sleep bad. I sleep really well. So I thought he was trying to push something on me. So I didn't take it. And he said, well, you know, sometimes people think that they sleep well, but actually they don't. And um, a couple of years ago, I was gifted an aura ring. I don't know if you know. No. It's a device that tracks our every moves and especially our sleep pattern. And it, this ring taught me that I was actually getting only six minutes or two minutes of deep sleep per night. And the deep sleep is really important to get. So it's really important to just be aware of everything we do without stressing out about it. Got it. Wow. <laughs> you can't become neurotic of our health either. It's just like being aware is really important and it's where it all starts. Got it. Well, thank you for sharing that. What else do you want to add? Well, uh, you were mentioning something about inflammation. Inflammation is is the cornerstone of every chronic disease. Mm -hmm. So this is where it all starts. And um, the key is to eat an anti-inflammatory diet and live mm. sort of a anti-inflammatory lifestyle, really, yeah. to being on the uh, rest and digest mode, the relaxed mode, at least to know how to engage in it a few minutes a day, because it makes a huge difference. Um, and everything can be inflammatory. Stress is inflammatory. Uh, toxicity is inflammatory, so many different things, you know, any parasitic infection that we may have, bacterial, viral infections, all of these things accumulate. Mm -hmm. And then you end up with too much inflammation in your body. So this is what it's all about. And again, really leaving the stress out is key because stress is also toxic. It's also inflammatory. So it's just finding the right balance. It's about finding what works for you. Uh, to achieve that sort of optimal situation, health, uh, you know, situation. <laughs> and that's what you do as a health coach, right? Maybe you want to share a little bit about the work you do and how you can help us as a health coach. What is it specifically? 
Well, as mentioned, I, I help the person. What I love about being a health coach, and like you said earlier, I, I have to be passionate about what I do. Otherwise, yeah. I can't do it. I'm an ex-dancer. I'm an ex-hairdresser. Um, working in fashion and creating a ton of wigs and working on all the uh, um, fashion shows there they, they were. But so I need to be absolutely passionate about what I do. And this is what I do. I view what I do now is um, as creating health with my clients. Mm -hmm. and what I absolutely love about this process is that it focuses on the positive. So if, you know, let's say you're my client and I'm going to meet you once a week and I'm going to say, Jill, what went well? What went well this week? Instead of focusing on what went on bad. the negative, the bad. I know we tend to do yeah. that. That's we got to keep this positive mindset, Cecilia. And it's so healthy for us, right? Mind over matter. Yeah. Sometimes the mind could cure so many things. Absolutely. Yeah. So <clears throat> I can't think of any session that ends in me feeling uh, sad or the client first, of course, if this is not about me, but I love do coaching people because um, I love how my clients are feeling so hopeful and empowered and uh, with uh, optimistic at the end of each session. And, and, and I'm just thinking right now about this client of mine who was 78 years old and she was, she was, uh, she was a trooper, but she was always complaining about every single thing that I was suggesting to her. She kept saying, Cecilia, oh God, I'm not going to do that. I'm already 78. I'm too old. I'm not going to do that. And at, at the end, I used to think she, she'll never come back, right? But she would always come back and she did all the things. Uh -huh. And by the end, she looked amazing because all of this was via Zoom. I had to ask her, did you just come back from Miami or something? You look stunning and glowy. And she was, you know, it's just really an amazing process. It's a wonderful, wonderful way of communicating with people. It's conversations about change. It's facilitating. It's really understanding the the the, the perspective of my clients without any yeah. judgment, you know, without of course. no expectation. It's it's just I build a bridge and I meet them where they are. I understand what they need. And so this I is part of the them. this is part of the three month um, functional nutrition counseling program. Yes. So absolutely. you recommend everyone doing a three month. I know you offer the initial 30 minute consultation and then just walk us through it. So for three months, what are the type? How, how often are you meeting? Um, do, you know, I'm, assu I'm assuming there's an assessment, right? You got to get to know the person. And then what happens during this three month journey? How often are you in touch? I mean, there's accountability on, say, my end as well as yours. Explain how, how it works. Absolutely. So we meet once a week. And uh, my clients also have the opportunity to reach out to me, not too many times, but let's say one to two, three times a week via WhatsApp in case they have like a last minute question or they don't remember something we said. Or So this is really helpful. There's a lot of uh, uh, hand holding. And uh, what else? What else can I say? Um, I kind of lost my train of thought. Yeah, it would just meet once a week. And yes, what you were saying earlier, I use functional medicine and functional nutrition tools and frameworks, uh, which are a journal. This is really important. A mm -hmm. journal for the client to, to keep about what they eat, how they feel. And as well as something called a, a matrix, I'm sorry, a timeline. A mm -hmm. matrix is also a functional medicine tool, but it's a timeline. And that's just absolutely amazing because it allows the client to uh, connect the dots and yeah. allows me to connect the dots as well. So on one piece of paper, you see the entire history of the person as wow. well as their parents of what have, what went on with, with their health throughout yeah. their life. And it's for them to keep and it allows them to get so many insights. You know, mm -hmm. it's they can build up on that and it's a fabulous tool. And what's really funny is that so many people are saying to me, you know, Cecilia, I think I eat really well. Mm -hmm. but once they fill out the journal, yeah. they say, oh, well, I guess, yeah, I guess I do eat this and that every morning. You know? So it's really insightful. 
Amazing. And um, just reading also, you you talk about, you take small steps and it's about baby steps, right? Nothing happens overnight, but you got to commit to the three month program and follow through. And you say, you got to dive in head first. <laughs> yes. You got to dive in head first. Nothing happens overnight, but it depends. Mm -hmm. Some things do. And sometimes you wouldn't believe the difference you feel in only one week, in two days. Amazing. So this gives them, my clients, uh, hope. And, and, um, and they, they, that's when they realize, oh, yeah, I feel so much better now. Because you know what, Jill? You don't know how bad you feel until you start to feel good. It's that's true. when you rule that. It's so much about awareness. Got it. And also just to point out, you mentioned your mom and uncle. Your uncle's an artist. Your mom is a psychoanalyst. So you come from a family of healers and, and artists, right? And yep. did you, um, would you say you had any obstacles in your life that you overcame that you really brought you here today? My personal, personal path, which is pretty heavy. Maybe it's not the right time now to get into it. But yeah, I, I did have a rough start. Um, especially I would say with mental health, mm -hmm. I believe that if I had grown up here in the United States, I'd be by now taking a ton of medication and, uh, mm -hmm. not doing so well. Maybe I wouldn't even be here still. I had, I had a lot of issues. I was, uh, I was just incapable to focus. I was all over the place. And I know now I am able to connect the dots now. See, and, and exactly. I feel validated now because I understand what happened to me, what happened to me. And, and it's very much linked to the circumstances yes but definitely with my gut health clearly you're passionate about helping others cecilia romero yeah. let's just remind everyone how they can reach you uh tell us the website one more time and is there a contact number you want to share oh absolutely so my website is called verywellnesscoach.com you can go there and uh, book a free call with me and um, my, I give a ton of uh, cool info on my Instagram account that's also called Very Wellness Coach. And you can also book an appointment from my link tree on my Instagram. Great. And why would somebody reach out to you? Tell me what makes you so unique at Very Wellness as a health coach. Come on. Well, because I just absolutely love to be a guide, mm -hmm. not impose anything on my clients. Those sessions are made for my clients, not yeah. to them. You know how we say something, let's not uh, mm -hmm. let the, the life happen um, to you. It's those sessions are happening for you. Sorry, I don't know how to say it really well, but I think it's a saying, but never mind. Um, I went myself through transformation so i'm able to share if it's appropriate yeah uh it's it's a it's a modality health coaching is a modality that i wish i had had when i was a kid mm -hmm. me too right the older we get the wiser we get but that's great you're here to help so many people by the way i just saw that you requested me on instagram i followed you back very wellness coach uh go to her instagram page again if you're looking for someone to help you with your health and especially gut related issues cecilia is here uh and she's here to also help you with your brain and increase longevity any uh before we go today any lasting advice you want to give for us until we speak again yeah, so it's actually not necessarily an advice, but something I really would love to add. Mm -hmm. um, I work with either people who either know that they have digestive issues, okay. or people who feel that they just don't feel right. They don't feel good anymore, and they're just not quite sure why. And I also work with people, um, I work in tandem with the, their doctors, right? We, we work together. We work together as a team. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I guess... That's, um, that's, that's it. That's the last thing I wanted to add. I can work with a client directly or, and as well in tandem with their doctors. Perfect. And once again, if we want to reach out to you, there's an initial 30 minutes, uh, a free uh, session. If you'd love to, you know, reach out, see if you guys are a good fit. If you're suffering from low energy, anxiety, bloating after your meals. Uh, she's the person to help here as a, a great testimonials as well. Within just two months, I was able to live pain free. This is from someone named Christine. Uh, better yet, I was hitting my goals, sleeping well and dropping two full pant sizes and learned the amazing news. I no longer needed surgery. Uh, so this woman, uh, 
Jess mentions your strength and positivity that you really helped find herself. So thank you for that. So if we want to reach out one more time, it's verywellnesscoach.com. Cecilia Romero, thank you so much for joining us today and looking forward to our next conversation. Yes. Is there an extra little minute? Go ahead. We have exactly a minute. Go ahead. Okay, because do you just reminded me of this um, of this client of mine? The most beautiful thing that happened with her is that she has a toddler, right? So her toddler also learned about healthy eating habits, and now he's four and he's crying for broccoli. And his favorite place is the farmers market. I mean, you know, it's wow, like that doesn't eating. happen. Yeah, my kids at McDonald's, chicken fingers, fries. That's amazing to start them young like that with healthy. I've never was able to do that with mine, but I commend you on that. That's a great, that's an accomplishment to get yeah. children to start eating healthy. That's oh yeah. Wonderful, right? It's like working with two generations at once and I love this. And the kid is not passionate about foraging for mushrooms. So I think it's really wonderful. Oh, thank you again. Verywellnesscoach.com. Cecilia, you have a fantastic day. And to all of our listeners, thank you. And viewers, stay tuned. More of the shows coming up after the break. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.